conference introdu introducing the new coach, well, they thought it was a slam dunk. Kelsey inspiring the fan base right from the jump with jokes, stories, self-deprecating humor, and more than anything else, a high dose of energy. You mentioned my energy. My mentor, Skip Prosser, used to describe me as making coffee nervous. Pat Kelsey coming in fired up as Louisville basketball head coach. Louisville fan Davis Call likes the enthusiasm. If he can bring that high energy to our team, I think we'll be all right. So I'm looking forward to it. He feels the energy of the, of the city. He knows the stage that he's on. Jack Hewitt listened to Pat Kelsey's introductory press conference on the radio. Hewitt was impressed with the new coach's storytelling ability, especially Kelsey's anecdote about having a dream in which he goes to heaven and sees a red house. And there's a big cardinal on it. And I'm like, St. Peter, that's me? He goes, no. I go, Danny Crum? No. Rick Patino? He said, son, that's where God lives. <laughs> He came in with talking about that dream that he had and uh, walking through the neighborhood and seeing all the different houses and coaches. And I thought he really captured the, the audience there. An audience hungry for wins. In the last two seasons, the University of Louisville basketball team won only 12 games. Tough times for a program which was once a national powerhouse. And, uh, I think he's going to do all the right things there. I think one of the things that he said, he said, um, the one thing you're not going to have to worry about is winning. We're, we're going to be really, really good. And I'm like, that, that's what we need. We haven't seen a whole lot of winning in a while, and uh, it's, it's time for that. The fans we talked with this evening say now that a coach is in place, they'll turn their attention to the transfer portal to see which players will be in uniform for the Cardinals next season.